Look, it's it's Diamond. This is what he does when he's not entertaining everyone. He's checking out all this cool growth. And everything's everything's edible, huh? Yeah, everything. Just look at that. It's just like a giant living salad. This is a, a seed mode. In this area, these are all seeding. These pods, I'm going to collect seeds so I can replant. These seeds are now uh, land race hardened for here. Pagosa. So that's what's pretty sweet. Guess I'll just close my eyes. Some of the pictures. Yeah, that's crazy that some kind of larva stuff. Look, we got Diamond and his personal security guard. Security service walking around here. Each security guard is equipped with a Walmart Ozark Trail knife. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Are you filming? Yeah. It's actually. No, no, I should have. I didn't do my hair, dude. Well, you got a hat on. That's good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Leecon 2019, the aftermath. This is the. Uh, this is the trailer where the after party happened there, and they lost. They got the the walls blown off. Yeah, I know, I actually have that same knife. That's not a bad knife. No, it's not. The handle sucks. It'll fall off. Yeah. But <laughs> Yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and there's the vicious demon dog. take the mud and they would layer them up and you could fill it with water and that's what they would do and that's yeah, the first thing I thought water. about and then here you're scattering that powder boom. Yeah those horses want to come over here and have some of that. Look at these guys. So I'm, I'm about to uh, start filling this. Okay. Those are the one right Watch it. These are cool. And, and here's, uh, you can see the difference from last time. And they dug all that out right there, made a new island. And then there's like a smurf over there. James Crouch. Look at that beautiful view, man. Green trees. Oh, wow. That's, look at that. It's like the greenest green. Yeah, and we'll zoom right into nature. What are they doing over there? <laughs> Just kidding. Supposed to eat. What's that? I don't know, it's nearby. I don't eat any shit. Oh, sometimes. Okay, yeah, yeah. I try not to eat any shit. Not here. Yeah, he was talking about that. It's magic toilet paper. It's got this nice fuzzy stuff on it. See me messing with it last time. You know, it's the shaman of the nature world. And I'm hearing this little weird locust around here. You can probably a little bit out if you want to. No ransom. No. Huh? 
All right, try it. Yeah, Somebody already ate it for us. Lunch. Thank you, sir. Smells <laughs> like fresh organics. Fresh organics, huh? Fresh organics, like like walking in. Out into the ocean, get out of the parking lot. I just trip out like everywhere you go though, there's something edible, usually either in nature or planted, but like not in the winter time, unless you did it. So is this your property line? <laughs> That's someone else's something. But there's a 30 foot easement because we own the riverfront all the way. Oh, okay. That's cool. Oh, so you got a right of way on the river. Yep. And then we have a river right to take the water. A little bit. Let me turn it off. Right now it's open the river. Well, that was awesome. I happened to time that just there. Mushroom! Oh. Oh, that's first one. That's the best. Bam! An old tree! Yeah. <laughs> completely empty. The feeder is dry. And we're inside. Partially pulled. And, and this is just the remnants of the ones that left? Yeah. Put a little bit of bee butter in there. Look at him. What did it say you? They're all dead, just frozen where they died. What do you think about that frame? You got a, uh, and what you got saying, syrup. Ro royal jelly is like uh, nectar. Eggs could, and could be honey, could be royal jelly, and then uh, loose nectar. But these guys right here. Here we got some emergers, right there. And what are emergers? This was to be about to come out and it's dead. So maybe after everyone left, just cold brood, just the last few remaining. So nothing is to there support a them. The eggs die if there's no bees, right? Right. They gotta be taken care of. And I kept thinking that some of these are just sleeping because they look like they're just still frozen in time. Yeah, look at this. I can find the corner. Oh! 
Let's not break the equipment, kids. Ow, I got stung. Mm -hmm. Not possible. Let's see, that's interesting. Is there still talk? No, so the, let me, let's discuss this pattern. We have very few bees that are clustered at the top center of the hive. And let me explain the situation here. <laughs> After I split this and didn't feed it, I think that this, uh, that this swarm got smaller and smaller and smaller. And what they do is, uh, as they're losing temperature in the hive is they come up to keep warm here and then it was too cold and then they're, oh, they're all dead. They died in place, freezing. Would you agree, James? I would agree. Yeah. So they just froze to death. That's why they're all just... There's no more heat. They need enough heat and enough bees to stay warm when it's cold or they're done. But what isn't done is this right here. Honey. Oh, my fucking God. You want to eat the wax and the propolis and everything? That costs like $22 at the health food store. Wow, that's super sweet. I almost feel like I just went into a diabetic shock the opposite way. Mm -hmm. So the one thing you can be know is safe, that even if a bee colony dies from a disease, none of the diseases gets uh, transmitted in any way that affect humans into this honey yeah. with this royal jelly. What about... Like glyphosate and stuff. Yeah, so if, you, if you're if you a normal beekeeper, you're going to be medicating your bees, and you shouldn't be medicating your bees. Because then your entire box becomes toxic, the wax becomes toxic, the honey becomes toxic. And you would never be able to eat right outside of, out of the hive. These yeah. are natural hives. This is all natural uh, material. Look at the amount of bee butter in there. So you have some like full pollen frames and some butter frames. No, you could scoop that out with yeah, a this spoon. Is, yeah. And now you're not to eat more than a little bit every day because that's like each one of those little kernels is so like 40,000 flowers. Try to come down here yeah, so look at this. Yeah. One of these holes contains the pollen of 40,000 flowers. Wow. And if you eat too much, you'll actually have too much nutrition in your body. You'll like overload. You'll get sick. Yeah. Something like that. It may like be vitamin exaggeration. A poison or something. No, I've heard that. It's not, I've seen that video. <laughs> Yeah, always use caution. Always use caution when you're eating out of a bee box that you don't know and either. So that leftover stuff is wax that I mean. And propolis, yeah. Which is this uh, really dark red stuff here. Yeah. That they use to seal shit up. So it's like they're cement. Caulk. Yeah, it's a portion of it can be from uh, trees. So. So like I was asking him, how do Let's you check a different frame, see if there's a different flavor. How do you direct the flavor? It's the, based on the uh, bloom. So we have a late fall bloom here of rabbit bush, and yeah. it, wow. it makes the honey taste like sage. And uh, in the early spring, if you collect honey, it tastes like clover. Whatever is in your local area. So like, yeah, it was definitely a higher if you have the bees contract. going back and forth to like, like really say sweet. those berries over there and stuff, it'll start changing the flavor because you got different flowers yeah, out. Yeah, it'll be current honey. Check that one. That's a little better. Yeah. A little more balanced. Less bitter. You definitely taste the pollen. After it's taste. got a nice pollen finish. I feel like, like I'm a wine tester now. I know. With this guy too. It's got a nice pollen finish. <laughs> it taste uh, reminds me of an '89. <laughs> no, I'm just yeah, kidding. Just As if. So you be you beekeep at your place too, huh? I'm um, second year beekeeper. Um, so, year do you beekeeper. know what kind of honey we just ate? No. Right here. That's wild rose honey. Wild rose honey. Yeah, that's what grows here. So these are my wild rose bees. Here. I noticed every time someone mm. tries to start talking, the wind blows, and then it stops when we're quiet. That's how it is. I notice that a lot. Here, here you go. Sample. Yes. That looks like chocolate almost. So why is it so black? What, the, what is uh, that? It's uh, the dark color of the wax. Yeah. It's aged wax. It's wax that we're just old. We're using. Yeah. Not bad. And it can also be um, when they need peanut butter before huh? the merge. I said we need peanut butter. <laughs> the uh, the proteins from the cocoons that the uh, younger bees spin yeah can build up, and that's so it oxidizes. And that one actually has the consistency of chocolate. Not it didn't just look like it. It almost so tastes like it. 
Some of your darker honey can have more of this in it, but the, the, that means you're getting more protein as well. So, so that just took me a little uh, probiotic boost. Yeah, man, that was <laughs> and, <coughs> live. So that's what you. Um, so this would be even better than like uh, store-bought honey, like whenever you're doing stuff. Like when I got strep throat one time and put a bunch of sage and. Uh, store-bought honey is medicated honey. All honey medicated. is medicated. It's toxic. Toxic. You gotta find a natural beekeeper and buy honey from a natural You're beekeeper. You're even talking organic because organic's just the style of farming. It doesn't mean that the bees aren't going out and getting... I don't know, James. Is there an... There's, there's got to be organic medicated bees. Uh, I, in fact, called uh, the Purdue... Uh, probably the wrong word, but the beekeeping folks had myology, I'm thinking. Yeah. And talked to their, their lead guy there, and I was concerned. Hey, if I'm going to be harvesting honey in a suburban environment, what about what if the bees are crawling onto somebody's spilt bag of uh, fertilizer they just put up? Yeah. And there are places you can send your stuff off to, but like at the university, their stuff gets down into parts per parts stupid per trillion, and oh, there's trillion. a little bit of everything wow. and everything at that level, pretty much. That's what he alluded to it there, but yeah, there's places in Germany, and there's a couple of places here in the states that you can still get your honey graded for that. But as far as he made it sound like they do a really good job. The plants do a really good job of filtering out what's in there. In the medicated the, within the, Yeah, within the... Well, you have to be very careful it's about that as well. You know, follow the directions. Yeah, so the best way to get uh, pure honey is fucking... Live out in the desert. Live. In, no, you... In the wilderness. In the, have your own and bees. you got to be far because bees can mingle. There's no... There's just more and then there's more flowers. So this is all berries. He cleared out these... Willows. So you just spin out the willow and you get like berry heaven. And now he's got all of this food, produce, food producing yeah, we square saw footage. Yeah, we're definitely So you just tweak nature.